Hey everyone, welcome to another video. In this video, we will see what is cross-site scripting, what are the different types of cross-site scripting attacks, how to detect if an application is vulnerable to cross-site scripting, and how to carry out an attack. In this video, I will also show you how you can steal a user's cookie via this attack. This is going to be a very informative video so watch this video completely till the end without skipping any part in between. Enough of the talking now, let's get started. As per OS, cross-site scripting or XSS is one of the top 10 vulnerabilities. It is a type of injection attack. In an application, we have a client side and a server side. Whatever action is performed at the user's end is known as the client side. In the case of XSS, an attacker injects a malicious code into the application. This malicious code gets executed on the client side. An attacker can make the application do the things which it, which it is not intended to do via this attack. For example, they can steal credentials, cookies, or session tokens and other sensitive information via this attack. For the purpose of this video, I'm going to use DVWA to show you how to carry out XSS attacks and how to steal a user's cookie. Just keep watching this video. Let me log in to DVWA using Pablo user. As you can see over here, there are three types of access attack. Reflected, DOM based, and stored. Let me tell you the difference between them. In case of reflected XSS, the attacker crafts a special URL containing a malicious script. This URL is sent to a victim user. When the victim user will click on this URL, the script will get executed. In case of DOM base, again, a specially crafted URL is needed. However, this URL will make some modification into the DOM of the application. When the user will interact with this modified DOM, the script will get executed. In case of stored XSS, the attacker does not share or craft any malicious URL. They simply inject the code into the application. Usually, this is done to a place which is often visited by people. For example, testimonial page. The attacker will inject a script into the testimonial page and this script will get saved into the database. Whenever a user will visit the testimonial page, the application will read the data from the database and in turn process the script and the script will get executed for the user. Let's see how this is actually done. Before you start looking for a vulnerability in an application, it is very important that you understand the working of that application well. For example, if I want to look for reflected XSS, then in this module, then I should know how this module is working. This is this text box and I'm being asked to enter my name. Let me enter my name. For example, my name is Pablo. When I submit this, the input is displayed over here. Also. This name parameter gets the input that I provided from the text. Let me try some numeric values. It is accepting the numeric value as well. Now let me try to give some tags over here. As you can see, this Pablo is in bold. Let's do an inspect element. So the input that was provided by me is being processed by the application and my input is being displayed in bold. Instead of showing like this B tag, Pablo and closing B tag, I'm getting Pablo in bold, which means this application is at least vulnerable to HTML injection, but we need to see if it is vulnerable to cross-site scripting. For this, let me close it and let me open my notepad. 
what if I provide my input to be let's copy it and paste it over here so this is known as the sweet excesses pop-up when you're doing bug bounty or penetration testing it is very good to see this pop-up let me just close it and I can also provide the same script tag from here as well and I get to see the access pop-up by the way whatever we are providing is known as the payloads so let's try something different let me go back to my notepad we have document dot domain this is used to fetch the domain name of the application since I'm running this application on my local host, so this IP will be my domain. Let's see what happens if I provide this payload. Okay, I made a mistake over here. It's document. Sorry for that. Copy it and paste it over here so you can see that I'm getting to see my IP which is nothing but my domain in this case so you can see that whatever input I'm providing over here is being displayed over here as well so this is my specially crafted URL I just need to send it to the victim user and when the victim user will click on it the script will get executed at their end let's let's just move to the stored i'll get back to how you can steal users cookie via reflected accesses via stored accesses and via dom based accesses let me show you how stored accesses works as you just saw that uh, when i visited this page i got this pop up it is because one of the items added by me over here has a malicious script this particular item if I do this inspect element, you can see that this script tag is injected by me. Let's close it and inject once again. Okay, this is the previous one. And this is the one which I just added. Now I'm going back to the DOM based. Here we have a drop down and we have a select button. Let's see what happens if I click on it. Okay, so this particular value is displayed over here. If you can see, this default parameter contains English. Let me change the value from the drop down and select German. Click on select and German is displayed over here. There's no input box, there's only this drop down, and I cannot enter anything in this drop down but I still have this default parameter let's see what happens if I enter Hindi over here can you see the value that I provided over here was inserted into this into this drop down so I just made a modification into the DOM let me do inspect element okay open this Okay, so here's the value which I provided. Let me provide uh, Hindi 123. So Hindi 123 is over here. Let's try to close this options tag and then this uh, select tag. For this, my input has to be something like this. I will also close this form tag but before that, I'll provide my own input box over here. And let me close the form tag. Copy this entire thing. And paste it over here. You can see that I have this new 
button over here which reads hacked it was added by me but nothing will happen if i click on it let me write a code to make something happen when i click on it just copy that particular thing and let me paste it over here okay let me click on hacked button i can see this particular pop up over here cool click on okay okay going back to this reflected access module now what if if, if we want to steal user's cookie this is our motive let's craft a url via which we can steal a user's cookie for this we will use window.location.replace this is used to redirect a user to a url provided over here let's redirect the user to this url and let's steal their cookie while redirecting them similar to document.domain we have document.cookie and everything will come in the script tag if we will copy this directly then nothing will happen let's say i type test over here and i'm going to copy it i have already copied it and i'm going to paste it over here so nothing will happen because for something to happen we need to encode this particular payload to make it url friendly for this let's type url encode let's paste your payload over here click on encode copy this and paste it over here i was redirected to ubedema.com and in this cookie parameter i passed my cookie over here let's send this url this is specially crafted url to our admin user here is a notepad and we have this paste it over here let me log in as admin in another browser first i'll open dbwa over here and i'm logging as admin so this is my attacker and this attacker is crafting a url and this is the url which they crafted they'll just simply copy it and somehow lure the admin user to click on it and when the admin user will click on it then this will happen we caught the admin user's cookie so this is how you can use xss attack for stealing a user's cookie now as an attacker i can even place this code where this testimonial page and store it over here so what was our payload uh, let me copy it over here from here and this copy it and paste it over here so here is some restriction on the number of characters that i can type let's bypass this inspect element and let's make it 200 remove this entire thing and paste it again so i just bypass the client side validation on the number of characters i'll type my name over here and sign the guest book okay okay and i'm redirected to this page when the victim user will visit this page they will also be redirected to this url and in turn i'll get their cookie let's see how it happens so this is my victim they're going to this page 
they first get to see this pop up the second pop up and after that they are redirected we just saw how you can use xss attack to steal a user's cookie you can either share this specially crafted url with the victim user or you can store it into the application and any user who will visit that page you will get the cookie of that user so that's all in this video since you reached till here i'm sure you like the content of this video i request you to like share and comment and also subscribe to this channel and hit the bell icon to get the notification whenever my new video comes up that's all for now thank you and goodbye